Hi, my name is Tomasz and you're watching Casual DIY channel. In today's video, we'll be making this foldable ladder shelving unit. Check out the video. Now this project can be a bookshelf, can be a plant shelf, or like in my case, a shelf for some seedlings uh, that will grow in my house. So have a look how you can make it yourself. Right then, so it's a very simple project, no fancy joinery, anything like that. I've actually all got all my boards, uh, they just need to be cut to the right size, to the right length, and we'll put the whole thing together. Really nice and simple. I'm mainly going to be using my uh, circular saw uh, to cut everything to size. However, you know, if you've got a normal handheld saw, that will do just fine. So uh, minimal tools in this project. I will also have a cut list for you, and uh, there will be a link down below in the description of this video, so you can basically replicate uh, this project in your workshop. But let's get to cutting and get all these boards to the right sizes. First of all, we're going to take care of the back ladder, the back support. I will be using my miter saw for that with a stop block um, just to speed up the process. So I'm just going to sort out uh, the long boards that they will uh, become the legs of the ladder. And as you can see with the stop block in place, I can make really quick repetitive cuts and have the perfect results each time. Now I'll be sorting the horizontal um, parts of the ladder. I need three in total and again I'm using a, a different type of stop block that's on my bench now as these are a little bit longer. Um, so yeah, again, super quick process. You can really batch out your work in no time. All the pieces for this project I'm giving a slight rand over on all the edges just so they look a little bit nicer. For that I'm just using a um, small rand over bit on my router but if you don't have an access to a router a sandpaper will do just fine just break uh, the edges of all the boards. Before assembly, I just want to give all the pieces a quick sand. It's just much easier to do it now. And it's time to put the back ladder uh, together. Okay, I'm using a plastic square just to hold everything in place um, as I've marked um, all the pieces so everything's in the correct place. And that will give me an ability to easily pre-drill some holes and then drive in some screws. As I said, it's just a simple build and uh, screws will be more than enough for this particular project. But obviously you can use some wood glue if you want as well. And now I just continue with the rest of the um, horizontal supports. And now the back ladder is fully assembled. Back to the miter saw station, um, the front ladder, the main legs, will have a angle to them at the bottom. In my case, it's uh, 25 degrees. I have sandwiched um, the long pieces of both ladders, the front one and the back one, and I'm just going to use a force in a bit, I believe that's uh, 15 millimeters to give some space uh, for the head of a bolt I'm going to be using to connect both of the pieces. Um, after that, I'm just going to be using a drill bit to uh, make the hole in both pieces through which the bolt will go. And in this case, uh, that's the bolt I'm going to be using, two washers and a wing nut. That will give me the ability uh, to fold this um, shelving unit away when not in use. And there you go. That's how it looks like, all nicely secured. Now it's time to install the horizontal um, supports on the front ladder. And um, for that, I'm just going to be helping myself with two clamps so I can hold everything uh, securely and that will allow me to pre-drill some holes and drive the screws. 
And now it's time uh, to cut all the pieces for the shelves. Again, the stop block system comes in play and I do have to cut a lot of pieces. The shelves are super simple. The uh, bottom support will have a slight angle at the front of them just to give it a nicer look. In my case, I gave it 50 degrees on my mitre saw and I think it will just give that small nice detail. Again, a bit of sanding before assembly. In the back ladder, I will be now producing some holes um, through the ladder and through um, the support piece of the shelf. Now at the back, um, the shelf will be secured to the ladder itself with a bolt. Again, that will give us the ability uh, to fold the shelf back up and eventually to fold the whole thing in a nice, neat manner. And it's now time to put the shelf together. I'm just pre-drilling some holes with a countersink um, to attach the uh, horizontal pieces into the supports, uh, the bottom supports of the shelves. To space each board, I'm using a strip of plywood it's 12 millimeters in thickness and for my need is absolutely perfect and as i mentioned before uh, the shelves at the back are uh, connected with a bolt like this one uh, so i'm just driving the bolt through and adding a um, nut to it as I said, it's a nice way of securing the shelf, plus gives us the ability to fold it away. And that's how it looks like with all the shelves installed. Now it's time to add some stop blocks so our ladder will not fold itself away. Um, so basically I'm using four pieces of uh, wood and that will act as stoppers. I will be installing the stop blocks on each side of the shelf itself. And now I'm using spray varnish satin to finish my project. It's just the quickest way to do it. And you know, with all those nuts and crannies in the shells is just the easiest one to do. And there you go, guys. I think it actually came out really nice. It's really sturdy and it's not gonna fold away on itself because of the stops that we did. And it just looks very nice. Obviously for me, it's a utility thing, okay? I'm gonna have my seedlings on it. This will be placed in front of my garden uh, doors where I've got just one sheet of glass basically. So there will be uh, plenty of sunshine on this and hopefully it will do the job. On top of it, I'm really happy with the ability uh, that I can actually fold this away uh, quite neatly. You know, it's not a problem at all, just like so. You know, and it takes so much less space now. I think it's absolutely perfect when this is not the news. You can just fold it up and put it away somewhere in your garage or anywhere else. So from that perspective, I think it's a very, very uh, cool design here, guys. And there you go, in a few seconds, it's back up and running. You can lift it, it's not gonna fold away. As I said, it's very sturdy, no issues at all. So it's a perfect shell for some books, for some plants, and in my case, as I said, for some seedlings.
Now I hope you enjoyed this little project. I'm just going to quickly show you that's the trays I'm going to be having um, on these shelves. Um, the shelves themselves obviously are a little bit bigger than required just to give me that bit of breathing room if I'm going to, I don't know, in the future buy um, larger trays or maybe I'm going to have some uh, pots with some plants or anything else. It gives me that bit more scope. As I say, the plants and the cutlass that will be available for you and hopefully that there is a link to those in the description of this video for you but yeah that's how it looks like i'm quite happy how it turned out and i'm pretty sure it will do a great job for me now if you enjoyed this video drop me that like button down below and if you're not a subscriber to my channel please consider subscribing to it as there will be plenty more cool content coming in the future but for today guys thank you so much for watching thank you for your time take care